Welcome back to the GSL. I'm caseless with me is Artosis. It's me. He's right there. Hi. Ah. Um, and we we saw some pretty one-sided games. We really did. For the first um, half of today's games. Here's the thing, too. Yeah. Bon Bon's, I really liked him uh, in Code a couple seasons ago. You know, I thought he was playing really well. Like, he looked like definitely he was Code quality. But, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. He was he was playing some macro games. He was, he was doing well. His PVT looked... Pretty good, man. Yeah. It wasn't, like, the best, but it was like, oh, okay, you have some potential. But to just all in like that, I don't know, man. I, I'm i just so – I mean, like, mixing all ins in is great, but, like, just having two all ins lined up, you're like, all right, I'm going to all in this way, I'm going to all in that way. It's like, well, give yourself some credit, man. Try to work out, like – well, two all ins in a row in a best of three is probably not the best game plan. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like it is personally. I don't I, know. Well, to be fair, I like to plan. Game best one of was not stuff, really an all in. It was like he was attacking, and then he got stuck in a situation. It's like, well, yeah, yeah. you know, but it was less all in than that second game. Man, that was like second game was like all game, in. He was like going like this. He might as well been running like with a blindfold on, like he's one of those he guys, guys the Voodoo People <laughs> Prodigy music video. He's just like going like <laughs> blindly forward. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that's a scary video, man. That's a scary video. I get my heart. I don't want to be in that race. I don't want to be in that race. Well, everyone's running. Actually, I'd be so smart. Like everyone's running so fast, I'd be like, "No, this is a pretty long race." I'd like walk slowly forward like this, (laughs) and I would probably end up winning that race, man. I get down the street, I'd just be like, "No, no, no, they're watching you. You you can't cheat." What I do is I is I paint my eyes or black paint like that, and everyone's like, "Just go boop." And peek them open and just see what's there. And I go a little bit further forward and go, boop, and peek again. I think if they you guys know what we're talking about, check out the Pendulum Remix Buddha People Brought It to this video. With the taste and our toast is built on how to get through that race. <laughs> All right, on to our game. We have I Am Junwee. Now, to be completely blunt, this is probably I Am's weakest play. And here's the thing, too. He's actually a great Zerg from StarCraft 1. He was an amazing player in StarCraft 1, no doubt about it. Back in, like, 03, 04, he was a very, very strong. He showed a lot of potential during the beta. I played with right. this guy a lot during the beta. I thought he was pretty good. And just recently, man, like, in all the matches we've seen him, he's been quite terrible. Now, I've been told he's actually quite good in practice, yeah, that's which doesn't make any saying. sense because he's played enough booth games in StarCraft 1 that... I don't know. I don't know what to I say about no it. I have no idea. Maybe there's something else going on that we don't know about. But yeah. to be frank, I completely agree with you, Artosis. It's like he's just not up to par for his reputation in StarCraft 1. Normally, you know, when you, when you see a StarCraft 1 pro gamer coming into StarCraft 2, they always have at least a moderate amount of success. They're at least going to be in the up and down matches. But in this case, um, Jimmy's been having a hard time. Yeah. Now, his opponent is Virus. Tell us a little bit about this guy. Virus is actually really, really good. I was not at all surprised to see him make it into Code S. Just overall, a very solid Terran. He'll mix in all ins. He'll mix in macro play. He does everything. He's a a very talented player from Startail. Great team. Great player. Nothing bad to say about him. I would be actually very, very surprised if he does not advance here. I really, I choose him as a strong favorite for this match. I don't know about you, Tasis, but that's, no, no, that's I, my I, feeling. You're that's how I feel. entirely correct. Wrote it in my diary this morning. Dear diary. Only you understand your diary. Your diary, I think Jimmy is going to lose again. Mom never will understand what it's like to be 14 diary. <laughs> I do like uh, Virus' hair today. Yeah. Tomato juice colored. Like it. Do you like tomato juice? Uh, you know, I don't drink. I like tomato I, soup, but I don't drink tomato juice. That tomato I, I mean, juice I is would, actually but... like the thing I'll every once in a while get on a plane for some reason. It's like, oh, yeah, it's like you know, like ginger ale. Yeah, I'm like, I'll have a ginger ale because I just don't really I like get drink you. ginger ale. I, you, you know, know what this mean? is so weird that I get you on this. <laughs> no, no, it's no, like actually Some people really said there is like, no, that actually kind of makes sense to it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. No, I... I'm, I'm not going to have V8 tomato juice in my house, but on an airplane, I'm going to be like, you know what? You only live in <laughs> Our maps are crossfire, Zelnaga Caverns, and Daldir Altar. Oh, faceless. That was, that was so killed. inspiring. Yeah, I'm going to go eat some tomato juice. We'll wow. get some on the flight. Going to MLG. All right. <laughs> 
We have Junwi against Virus. Who will win? Virus surely is the favorite, but can Junwi come back? Let's find out here at the GSL Super Tournament. I am Tony versus Thornhill Virus. All right, over here in the bottom left, StarCraft One, very successful pro gamer. Will he have his big break today and advance to the round of 32 here in the GSL Super Tournament? I am Tony. I believe he's team captain, right? Yeah. Uh, in fact, he is the captain of the players' organization. So oh, that's captain. right. Cool. And over here in the upper right, this guy is so sick. <laughs> ah, my timing is off. Tati Pyrus. Tati, you can't predict when a virus is coming or going. All right. Double barracks, very interesting. Strong opening. Thank you, LG Intel G Skill. Mwah. Give him a little kiss. <laughs> Not too much. You know what I mean? Tasteless. Any kiss little, from little you kiss is too on much. The, little kiss on the palm. None of the palm. Back of the hand. Excuse me. The back of the hand. Yeah, you I know, was gonna say the palm. Keep, That's like the guy dirty. Back. It's like a sweaty palm you're kissing. <laughs> Here comes the drone scout. Here comes the SCD scout. You know, I wonder how they pick which SCD is going to be the scout. I would be so scared. I'd be like, but I got black You're not feet. brave, man. I know I'm not. I'm smart. I like want to stay alive and stuff. No, man. I would go, and I'd be like, uh-uh. I'm not scouting this anymore. Zerglings are going to be out soon. Send me home. I'd be like, no, no, no. I, I want you to just be in there and die. No. Not our toasts. No. Oh, look at this. Uh-oh. Sending a few... Uh, Extra SCVs as well. Looks like now he's sending four more SCVs. Now he's got to be careful to show these additional SCVs at the last second. Uh-oh. Well, he already knows. He is sending out some drones. One drone taking significant damage there. I don't know if this is enough drones, Tasteless. Here we go. More drones coming now. Very smart oh. move right there. Almost gets that SCV. And, wow. He uh, I don't, engages I with half the drones, unfortunately, of the drones he should have had out there in the beginning. Uh, you have to take these rushes so for reals, tasteless. For reals. Yeah. Um, he might Ooh. be in some trouble here. He might be in yeah, some trouble. Yeah, this is getting pretty bad. And taking out a lot of SCVs there. That's a pretty big deal. You want those SCVs around to repair the bunkers with. I love the zoning by, by virus so far here. Yeah, he's, he's this is beautiful. Yeah, we saw Bunker Rush fail the other day yep. uh, when they did not zone like this aggressively. Remember, a lot of these uh, drones have been softened up. They're already, they're already taking some damage. Yeah, killing off a lot of drones here. I don't know, man. I don't know if Jumpy can hold this. There are only three SCDs, so he yeah. can, uh, you know, theoretically repair a certain well, amount. Here's he the does thing. have an extra bunker. He can hide those three SCDs in as well. Now, I'm, I'm trying to remember who it was we were watching. And yeah, Junwi letting Zergling go down the ramp. Very sloppy there. In fact, here comes some more Zerglings. Oh, no. Now, he has stopped the reinforcements for the most part, as we see here. But, I mean, there's already too many Marines down there. The other day when we saw this actually held, when we thought the Zerg was going to die. Who was that? I can't think. Of the, why is this? Why don't, am I don't, don't part this about this? Toast, I actually don't know. <laughs> Oh man, but no, it's uh, there were only three Marines down there, but right, now the we Hatchery see Hatchery goes down, Hatchery is gone, Jinwee GG.